It is a highly controversial practice. Conversion therapy aims to change a person's sexual orientation or gender identity through psychology, spirituality, and other means. But now, an MLA here in Alberta is looking to outlaw that practice. Um, because I've had people come to me and express concern and express a need for it to be banned in Alberta. Nicole Goring says banning conversion therapy has been on her radar for some time. And this week, she confirmed she's working on a private member's bill to do just that. It can happen to anyone, um, so anyone from the LGBTQ plus community and making sure that people are safe and that there's practices in place that are not discriminatory. There's no body of research that supports this notion that you can change, fix or repair a person's sexual orientation or gender identity. It's a move LGBTQ advocate Dr. Christopher Wells says is long overdue. It can cause young people to go out and commit suicide because uh, they think that there's something wrong with them, that they're broken or that they're disordered. In fact, there's nothing wrong with these young people. They're normal and beautiful just the way they are. It's the attitudes and the prejudice that need to change. If the potential bill passes, Alberta would join Ontario, Manitoba and the city of Vancouver in banning conversion therapy along with 14 U.S. states. Conversion therapy is being performed uh, right here in Alberta. It's still largely underground. It's uh, mostly based in uh, faith-based communities um, who uh, operate under these uh, beliefs that uh, being LGBTQ is a sin. We believe that people are naturally heterosexual. Conversion therapy does remain in practice in some circles. And this week, the head of Alberta's Lutheran Church confirmed he sent a letter to the provincial education minister outlining how reparative therapy alongside anti-bullying policies could help foster safe spaces for students. In a statement, Alberta's NDP health minister calls conversion therapy discriminatory, harmful and hateful and says she will work with her caucus member and the LGBTQ community in exploring the potential legislation. For its part, the UCP opposition said it wouldn't comment on a hypothetical bill, but says all children deserve to be raised in a safe, caring and loving environment. Now, we likely won't see any specifics on the bill before the fall legislative sitting begins in late October, but Goring insists that will be time well spent. Let's continue our consultations with the LGBTQ plus community to make sure that everything that we're saying in the bill is, is what they're asking for. In Edmonton, Courtney Terrio, City News.